What is up, guys? T5 and Mega Destroyer here. I got quite the different video for you because I, I, I haven't been uploading, okay? Because I usually play shooters. All the shooters suck. No, I played Fortnite today, though. It was kind of fun. I won a couple of games. It wasn't all that bad, okay? It was... It, the game feels smoother now. You know, Season 8 update. Oh, yeah, we got lava. And the game felt a little bit smoother. I'll give them that. You know, controls are a little better. I one-pumped the kid. Yeah, it was it was fun. It was a fun time. But I don't want to upload Fortnite. Everybody uploads Fortnite. I don't want to do that. But today, 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 I'm going to make this video, okay? And depending on how it does, depending on what the feedback is, if I even get feedback, because, you know, who watches my videos, right? Um, I'm going to do a Dallas Mavericks rebuild, okay, on NBA 2K19. I like to do rebuilds the most fun way possible, so, like, you know, recently traded stipulations and things on the trades are not going to be a thing. Um, we're basically just going to go through here and try to have the most fun as possible, uh, free up the most cap space as possible, um, and build around Luka Doncic and Chris Stops Poor Zingis. That kid that all the Knicks fans were yelling, Zingus Bingus, who's this guy? Yeah, that guy, that guy, he's on our team. We're going to try to build around him and Luka Doncic. So, first time to check some contracts, okay? So, we're here. Tim Hardaway, you're about to get packaged and sent up out of here. Pack your bags, pack your bags. We'll keep J.J. Barea. Dwight Powell, pack your bags. Pack your bags. Your Dirk's not going anywhere. Trey Burke, I like Trey Burke. Yo, Courtney Lee, pack your, pack your bag. Pack, pack your bag. No, pack your bags. Pack your bags. Y'all got to go. Big Zoo? Patrick Beverly? Hmm. DeAndre Jordan is on a one-year, $22 million contract. That's not too bad. We bring him back to Dallas, where he obviously wants to play. So that's kind of sprinkling in realism. And we get rid of both of these contracts. But we got one more trade offer. JaVale McGee and Josh Hart. Now, now here's the thing about Josh Hart. Let's see. Here's the thing about Josh Hart, okay? Josh Hart. I love Josh Hart, okay? But will he actually progress... And be super useful in the long run. Because I can I can get DeAndre Jordan off rip right now. I could bring DeAndre Jordan back off rip right now. This is what what am I doing? I need to see attributes. So younger players, okay, he's got an 82 potential. That could be worth it. He could be like a, a, a mini Clay Thompson. He can he's a very good defender, Josh Hart is. Um I just don't think, I don't know. This is a big decision because we signed DeAndre Jordan and then we mess around and I have enough cap to sign a really big free agent. So maybe we do take the Lakers offer. Maybe we send Tim, we send Tim Hardaway, Dwight Powell, and Courtney Lee to LA in return for JaVale McGee and Josh Hart. Mm, but I kind of do want DeAndre Jordan back. There's a Hassan trade. There's Big Zoo. We're definitely not taking Otto Porter's crackhead contract. Otto Porter's on something. I think I think we'll free up the most cap as possible, and we'll take Josh Hart and JaVale McGee. So let's keep moving through here. This is basically you just got to basically clean house at this point in time. A clean house of basically all of the really bad contracts because Kristaps and Luca are on really good contracts. Kristaps is on a 1 year, 5 million dollar contract. Luca's on a 2 year, 14 million dollar contract. And now we have dude, let's see if we can I'm not sure if I really want JaVel McGee. So we'll package these three guys together, Justin Jackson, Devin Harris and JaVel McGee. And there's another big offer that could go down. We could take Steven Adams, which Steven Adams, when you're playing the game, is insane. But I don't know how well he's going to do in a sim. I don't like any of those offers. Um, 
what I do want to try to do, maybe we can try to propose some trades for some big name guys. Um, Malcolm Brogdon would be would be a good idea. Let's look at his potential and see how much he'll he he's projected to grow over the next couple of years. He see he's capped. Um, we can always use untapped potential trainings on him. Um, but I wouldn't really want to waste those on somebody like him. Uh, Shy Gilgis Alexander, point guard, uh, all, a really good offensive player. He's six six. Got a long wingspan. He's very long. He could defend. And maybe we get a hold of uh, Vicha Zubac and Shy Gilgis Alexander. But we do have to remember that the draft is coming up. I don't know how well we're gonna do. Matter of fact, what we couldn't do. We'll, we'll trade for picks later on in the offseason. For right now, we'll just sim through here and see what happens. Um, I don't, I don't know. Maybe these two can somehow make the playoffs. Um, we can sim cast the playoff games if we make it. Ooh. No, 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 no. When I saw CJ McCollum, I got a little bit excited, but not for Luca. No, Luca. Luca is gonna be a, a god tier player in the next couple of years, and we definitely don't want to get rid of him. We do need point guards. Our point, our starting point guard is JJ Barea right now, so we could definitely use some point guards. I'm interested to see how well JJ Barea actually does over the course of the season. Um, we're we're running 500 right now. We're over 500 now now we're three games positive um I, i'm hoping i want to make the playoffs but at the same time i don't like i don't want a full tank for a draft pick or anything like that but um kind of would like to see how far we can get into the, into the playoffs i do have the trade deadline off because like i said we're not doing this fully clean cut real realism because that's not as fun to watch nor is it as fun for me to do so at any point i can make any trade that my heart desires and that they that uh 2k lets me uh sell uh computer's tailbone day to day so I always have the computer adjust that um i'm not really sure who we're gonna get in the draft i'm not sure which pick we have um we might have like a mid draft pick maybe a little on the earlier side um, obviously zion williamson is in this draft rj barrett is in this draft cam reddish is in this draft john moran is in this draft um kevin porter jr is in this draft there's a lot of um bigger names in this draft that is coming up i'm not sure if we're gonna get a hold of one of them um if we do that would be great that'd be great to get a hold of at least one of the the big name draft picks i'm pretty sure bull bull is in the draft too bull bull would make a, a very good pair with um Kristaps because they both are are somewhat competent from the th from from three. They're both seven footers, seven foot three, seven foot five guys that can pull the three ball, which can you know set kind of a style for our team to play. You know, and we we obviously still have Luca, you know, New Age Larry Bird, whatever you want to call him. <clears throat> Which is funny. I actually saw a video. You know, it, it was titled "What Is Luka Doncic Proving?" I was like, "Is he proven?" I don't get it. He's Luka Doncic. He's just good. He's a good basketball player. So I click on the video, and and this and the guy starts talking about um how I thought it was facts, low key. The guy starts talking about how before Luka Doncic, um, he thought that Larry Bird wouldn't stand a chance in today's NBA. You, know, you got LeBron in the NBA today. You got Kevin Durant in the NBA. You got the Greek Freak in the NBA today. You've got <clears throat> um, Russell Westbrook. You know these like these super athletes. You know maybe James Harden is an exception. He's not super freakish and like has like some kind of super natural athletic gifted powers, but he really knows what he's doing. He's basically unguardable and he travels a lot. He does that too. But what it, what what he said was is that um, Luka Doncic is proving that you know he as long as you have enough skill, you're gonna be able to succeed in the NBA. Um, now when I thought about that, I th I felt that James Harden had kind of proved that. 
Um, we did not make the playoffs, which I'm kind of fine with. I thought I felt that James Harden has kind of proved that. James Harden being arguably the, you know, the the most dangerous offensive threat in the NBA right now, and you could argue ever, I guess, if you really wanted to, but um, because he he's not super athletic, but Luca. Luca is definitely. I, I agree. Luca is definitely showing showing off right now. Let's see who who wins the NBA Finals. Obviously, the favorites are going to be Golden State. They're whooping Denver. Uh, can Portland pull off the upset? Probably not. I don't think Dame is going to be able to do it. <clears throat> oh, two two, three two, and okay. So can the Greek Freak? No, and the Greek Freak is four one, Golden State. Does it again sign him? We're just gonna hopefully we get some free agents. So we have big cap. I think we I think we do a two year deal with Ennis Cantor with the trade clause. We bring him in. Ennis Cantor will sign. Um, what I do think we do, I think two year deal with Nikola Vucevic. I think we trade him. I think we look for a trade for Nikola Vucevic. What is that? I think we 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 definitely maybe we sign Thad Young too. We sign Thad Young on a one year. Thad Young one year no trade clause. And we're going to trade Vucevic and Thad Young eventually. Vucevic did come, didn't he? Pretty sure he did. We still have Kostas onto Tecumpo, which could get very interesting. That could, if Kostas could get very interesting later on. Uh, we're going to load up the 2020 draft class for next year. No, download canceled. Let's see. What is happening? Okay, there we go. So now we do have some training camps to go through. Um, I think we're going to give untapped potential to Josh Hart. Um, Hart is, is uh, he's, he's progressing as intended. Uh, what's his potential at? He's got a B potential right now. Uh, Luca and Kristaps already have super high potentials. So we're definitely going to give it to Josh Hart. And I think we're going to keep him for a while. I think he's doing a really good job. Um, trade finder. Vucevic. Brunson. I don't really want Thad Young's contract. So, <clears throat> I guess we'll go into the season. For them three, we are going to try to get an A1 point guard. Because I feel like that's the only thing this team is missing right now. This team is missing an A1 point guard. What? Is it Thad Young they don't want? I guess. Eric Bledsoe. He's on a hefty contract. Victor Oladipo running a point. Darius Garland. What's his potential? What team was that? Player finder, Garland, Darius Garland, it's only got an 84 potential. See, here's the thing. Here's what we're going to do. Here's what we're going to do. We're gonna, if we're going to go for a point guard, 
that just came out of the draft. We're going to go for Morant. He's off rip 81 overall. Trade finder. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll do it just a regular trade. We'll give you Vucevic. We'll give you... Bad Young will give you Brunson. We will take. I'm the, I'll take Yogi Ferrell off of you. Dad! Okay, Dad Young doesn't want to get traded. I'm loving it. I'm guessing that's why the last deal wouldn't go. John Morant's considered untouchable. Yeah, we're not getting him. Um, we're still going to trade. We still need to get something for Vucevic. Mike Conley could be. Um, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, the trade that looks like it's about to go down after a little bit of thinking might be the Kyle Lowry trade, I guess. Can I get a younger point guard for Lowry? I can get Garland, but I want to win right now. I want to win right now with a point guard. I want a point guard that is ready to win right now. And to be honest, that's Kyle Lowry. So this is where we're doing. Okay. That's what we're doing. Kyle Lowry the move. What is Lowry doing? We might have to make a change. John Moran is number five. Trey Young. If we would have got Trey Young. Lowry, what are you doing, buddy? I don't like this. You're doing the same thing J.J. Barea was doing. Yo, Lowry has to go. J.J. Barea was number 22nd. Gonna have to package up again. Jalen Brunson. Lonzo Ball. Where is Lonzo Ball in the standings right now? That is low-key a point guard. That is a bet. Lonzo Ball. Where's Lonzo in the standings? We're not doing that. I can't do that. I love Lonzo Ball, but he's on something, dude. Low-key, if I get him, I bet. I would bet a large amount of money if I get a hold of Lonzo Ball. If I get a hold of Lonzo Ball and keep some of these assets, I can get a hold of Trey Young, too. I can I make this trade, I get Trey Young off rip. So I'm gonna make this trade here. I'm not giving you Kristaps. Alright, here's what we'll do. We're just gonna trade finder Ingram. Maybe we keep ball. Maybe we just trade finder Ingram, package Ingram with some of these assets we have. Getting to see your little and Dennis Schroeder.
Now we're back down to a 54 chemistry. I don't know how many more games we're going to be able to win like this. I mean, we're winning. We win two in a row with Dennis Schroeder as a new point guard. We win. We lose one. We win another one. We do get Nasir Little. Um, he's probably coming off the bench, but he is a really good defender. He, he locked up Zion at one point. Okay, Nasir Little is a really good defender, and I think he is definitely. If we make the playoffs, maybe I'll I'll I'll, I'll play a couple of games in the playoffs. I don't know. So that that's pretty good. Forty six and thirty six. We win ten more games. Then okay, rookie of the year Zion Williamson, obviously. Six men of the year Dennis Schroeder. Who is starting at point guard if he's the sixth man of the year? So we do make it. We make it as a fourth seed. Okay. Um, let's look at the season stats. Um, how well did Dennis Schroeder do? I'm I'm pretty sure he started. Dennis Schroeder, he was averaging 17 points, 6.3 assists. Um, that's pretty good, honestly. He was 13th. That's a lot better than the last two point guards we had. Who are sitting at 20, 20th and 22nd. Um, Kyle Lowry went out to 17th once we sent him to LA. But he did end up getting hurt. Which is unfortunate. Um, we never did get a hold of Trey Young. I feel like if we did get a hold of Trey Young at some point. Um, we, we tried. We tried many trades for Trey Young. We wanted Trey Young in Dallas really bad. But we couldn't get a hold of him. And I feel like if we did get a hold of him. We would be at least, you know. Uh, third, second, or first seed. I feel like he definitely would have carried us to um, some really good places. Uh, Rui Hachimura uh, was th he, he did really well for Memphis. RJ Barrett ended up in Brooklyn, did very well. Cam Reddish ended up there, and then Nasir Little. We ended up getting one of those you know big name picks. Just not in the draft. We did end up trading for him later. Nasir Little in the middle of the season. 6'6", 220. Long, athletic finisher. Dunks. Great defender. Um, and I think I think he'll help us out. Uh, let's start the sim cast up. Okay, Memphis is up. Okay, we're getting destroyed. Coming back, coming back, coming back. It's still close, still close. It's not that close anymore. Yep, here we go. Second half, the slaughter. The second quarter, we're just getting slaughtered at this point. I mean, I mean, Memphis is not a better team than us. Stop it. Third quarter, we're down by 20-something. <clears throat> this is just not going very well, is it? End up losing by 30 points. We, two, we're down 2 oh. We're down 1 2. We're down 2 2. We're up. We're, we're in series side. 3 2. 3 2. Three, two. Maybe we play the last game? Do we play the last game? Is that what we do? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Okay, so <clears throat> I don't know. I don't I don't think we're gonna I think we'll wait to play games like till we get to the finals. We should win, yeah. So we'll go on. Oh, we got Houston. Houston beats us once. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Chill! Bro, 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 bro. We can't do this. We can't lose to Houston. If we beat Houston, we beat Houston. Houston got first seed, dude. Stop! Stop!
Philly and Golden State. Golden State should win. Golden State's probably going to. Oh, Philly beats Golden State. Why did they get Mike Conley? Bruh. Okay. So we couldn't even get. Bro, we couldn't win with this lineup? Look at this lineup. That's a championship squad right there, bro. Retirements, Tony Parker, Tyson Chandler. Straight to the draft lottery, I guess. So we have the sixth pick this year. We actually have the sixth pick. So, do we go LaMelo Ball? Hmm, hmm. Do we go Precious Achiwa? Brian Antoine? I don't know, dude. This is the. Uh... Scouting. Cool. All the all these top dudes. So since we got the six pick, Nico Mannion. We're gonna need another point guard. This point guard is, is our problem right now. We ain't got one. We'll just come down here. Lamelo Buff's potential is only a B minus. Cole Anthony, A minus. Nico Mannion. B minus. I probably. I, I think Cole Anthony's a move. I don't think Lamelo Ball is where it's at. As a matter of fact, let's see. Yeah, we can still trade Schroeder. Schroeder has another year on his contract. I don't think Luca has another year on his contract though. That so that sucks. Hopefully Luca comes back. Yep, we got the sixth pick. Cole Anthony should still be here. That's the move. Cole Anthony's the move. 6'2", 190. I like it. Seventy six overall right now. So I think I think we made a good pick. Definitely. Somebody got a seventy three overall, the thirtieth pick. Let's hit straight. Let's head straight for the free agency. So, let's see what's up. There you go. Go ahead. All right, <clears throat> Jamal Murray. Could be a good idea. See, how are you gonna tell me to let you out and open the door right back up? Jalen Brown, Pascal Siakam. There's not very many big names here. I mean, Ben Simmons is here. I, we don't really got no bank, you know? We don't got no money, really. I think we're just going to end up sticking with this roster. We never did trade Lonzo Ball. Um, what happens if we package Schroeder and Ball together? We can get Dennis Smith. And free up a lot of cap. Along with Frank Nick Oh, Frank Nikita. Frankie Frank. Um, as a matter of fact, how about Dennis? Tyrese Maxey. We're just We could get LaMelo. Lamelo and Lonzo on the same team, and then we trade Cole Anthony, I guess, because I know Lonzo is gonna be really good in a couple of years. Cole Anthony should have really high trade value. Three stars. Trey Jones, Okobo. 
there. We'll take Robert Covington's contract, I guess, along with the pick. They're not doing anything. It's Josh Hart. He's scoring eight points per. That's not enough, Hart. You're literally the shooting guard. That's not enough. Do we make the, the Zach Levine move? I think we do. Win 50 games! 50 games! Come on! We gotta win 50 games! We're losing to Sacramento. We're losing to Sacramento. We won 50 games this season. This is what I'm talking about. The Levine move put us over the top. We had our point guard the whole time. He was just playing behind Dennis Crackboy Schroeder. Third seed again. We should destroy the Jazz. The Jazz should not be a problem at all. The Jazz should... Just lost to the Jazz. Kelly Oubre leading the score. Well, come on, guys. Donovan Mitchell puts... Donovan Mitchell put 42 on Levine, bro. This is just frustrating, isn't it? Win 54 games for Zach Levine to just... Everybody but Kelly Oubre to choke. Kelly Oubre dropped 20 points. That's a thing. What did Kelly Oubre do all year? Let's see what Kelly Oubre did all year. Is Kelly Oubre low-key a goat? Is he up here somewhere? I bet he's not. 25th. He was only averaging 11 points. And, like, no assists. He just had some kind of scoring outburst. So you're, so you're telling me Luca, Levine, Kristaps, and Ball didn't even score 20 points? Uh, we won 54 games, I guess. I don't know. If you want me to continue this rebuild some other time, um, just drop a like on the video. I can continue this specific rebuild, or I can go on with, like, a whole new rebuild with a different team. I felt like I did a decent job building this team. Um, they just didn't win. You know, they, they choked, and they choked in Game 7. Everybody except for Kelly Oubre just choked in Game 7 and just gave up the first round to the Utah Jazz and uh yeah that's about it that's all I got yeah I don't I don't know this did not go very well I, I built a really good team I built uh, Alonzo Levine Doncic Porzingis and Cantor and they just couldn't get it done I don't know you say that the life can be the thing you want